Hey, Seth, congratulations. Uh, Davey said that he had pulled you into his office and told you to take out your earrings and that you were probably going to be playing today. Uh, what do you remember from that conversation? Uh, he just pretty much called me in and uh, he said the first things first, take out your earrings. I didn't even realize I still had them in, but after that, he just kind of told me what was going on for today. It has been quite some time since you pitched in a game due to injuries and everything. How were you able to stay as ready as you were over these last two years or so? Uh, I've just been trusting the process, sticking with what they've told me, doing everything they've told me, just in trying to stay healthy just in case they needed me. Thanks. Hey, Seth, uh, tell me about how, you, how your heart was racing or how you were feeling in those trying to take deep breaths in those first few pitches. Um, did, you, did you feel like you needed to calm yourself down or did you, did you feel comfortable? What, what was the feelings like when you were throwing those first pitches? Oh, I was 100% nervous for the first one, but after the first few throws, I kind of settled in. And But right off the grip, yeah, for sure, definitely nervous. And I know, obviously, you didn't want to give up the, the homer, but did, did you um, feel good um, about the strikeouts and some of the pitches you made? Can you build off of some of the things you did and the fact that you got to come out for a second inning? Uh, I mean, I, I wasn't too worried about it. Uh, I felt good on the mound. I mean, things happen, so... I didn't really think about it too much and just tried to focus about the next pitch. Jesse Dockery, Washington Post. Hey, Seth, congrats, man. Um, I imagine you maybe imagine this day a little differently in your head. Um, usually you're a starter. The stadium usually has fans in it. Um, maybe family would have been here. So what, what was this whole experience like, debuting like this in, in such a weird season? Uh, honestly, it's, it's pretty crazy with what's going on, but – once you, once I stepped on the mound, I don't really, I feel like it doesn't really notice it that much. It's just kind of baseball right there in front of you. So it's, it's not, I feel like it's not that, that, that big of a difference. And then uh, what was your sort of approach in that, in that Nito at bat? And I mean, obviously you probably would like to have that last pitch back, but I guess what would you want to do there? And uh, can you just walk us through so, sort of the result too? Uh, I mean, I wanted to get the change up down like I did the first one I threw to him, but kind of just got under it, pushed it up there. Gave him a good pitch to hit. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Mark Zuckerman, MassSports.com. Hey, Seth. How, how much has that changeup been important for you as you're developing here as a pitcher? Um, and just the fact that you would, you know, rely on that in such a big spot must must say that you have some confidence in it. Uh, I mean, they've pretty much told me from the get-go that I needed to have three pitches. So once I came back from Tommy John, I kind of just, like, buckled down and, really got to working on my changeup, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident with it right now. And just at the end of the day like that, uh, kind of what are all the emotions that go through your mind, and is it a feeling of like, hey, I can't wait to get back out there again? Is it, hey, I need a couple of days to sort of process it all? What, what sort of goes through your mind at the end of all that? Honestly, I don't even really think that I've processed it yet, but I can't wait to get back on there on the mound again for whenever they need me, and I'm excited. ByronKerr, and Seth, obviously, you know, you didn't want to give up the home run, but did Davey or Paul Menhart say anything that kind of stuck with you um, during the game or after the game that, that helped you through it? Uh, Paul just kind of came out there and told me to trust my stuff. He, I mean, stick with it, just kind of get it back together and just do what I do best. Thank you. And we'll finish with Tom Davis, NBC Sports Washington. Hey, Seth. Um, since you were drafted, you've gone through a lot of different stuff from spring training to obviously the Tommy John surgery. During that time period, did you ever wonder if this day was going to come, if you were going to actually find your way onto a big league mound at some point? Uh, I mean, I don't ever, didn't ever think that the day wouldn't come, but I definitely knew I was yeah. putting myself in a tough position. So, I mean, I kind of just try to put all that behind me and do what they, they would tell me to do and keep working. And what was it like the first time you threw a baseball again after the Tommy John surgery? Some guys said they throw it right in the ground. Other guys are afraid to release it. What was it like for you to pick it up and try to throw it to somebody? I'm pretty positive that all my first five throws went straight into the ground. <laughs> yeah, and what, did, what was going through your head when your five throws go straight in the ground and you're a first-round pick who's supposed to be a pitcher? Yips. I thought I had the yips already.